it's your girl Karina here and happy holy Easter Monday! Yay! So first and foremost, I hope I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I know it's the beginning of a new week. So really again take this week as a fresh new start or a continuation of your journey to use all your talents and gifts for Christ and for God's glory. Really, it's really important that we take advantage, take advantage and dominate this time to be in this time of waiting as a time of preparation for the answers to our prayers. You know, I, I don't know who's watching this, but I'm pretty sure that you're praying for someone, something, a vocation in your life very much. And don't be discouraged. As I always say in all my videos, don't be discouraged. Embrace this time as a time of preparation to sort out everything that will hold you back. And, you know, those insecurities, those worries, those fears, sort it out the door. Because really, God's calling you for greatness. God's calling you f to maximize your true self in the eyes of Christ. Really, to fulfill that mission that God's calling you to. You know, it's so beautiful like that to really have that mentality solidified deep in your heart for Christ. And from that point on, you will flourish. You will flourish very much. And so, you know, think about that every day. Think about it every day and from that point on you will you will feel a difference you'll feel that inner peace to really place all your trust and your confidence in god and to let go of all those burdens and all those things that are holding you back from really taking that leap of faith in christ and in god to really follow what god's calling you to do so that's why if you're praying for something someone or anything you know just go Go and do it, and don't be afraid. Because as Jesus always says in the scripture, don't be afraid, for I am with you. Like, it's so beautiful like that, that we don't have anything to be afraid of, right? Which leads to the reason why God chose this song today called Revelation Song by Carrie Job. And I remember singing this song back in October for the first time. And the Holy Spirit really led me to select that song as well last minute like five minutes before we went up <laughs> before the concert began we were just me and my pianist we were just like okay i was like can we can we do a revelation song like i know it's super last minute and he's just like yeah we should do it and i was like okay let the holy spirit bring up the fire <laughs> you know fire of illumination for christ right and so you know the message behind it really speaks about you know jesus christ being our savior, a redeemer, and we don't have to fear anything. You know, he's clothed with wonder, awestruck wonder, at the mention of Jesus Christ's name. You know, it's so beautiful like that. And I have a thing for, you know, mellow Christian songs, so... Side note, if you have any suggestions for any like mellow Christian songs for me to sing as a night recommendation, please comment down below. <laughs> I'd really greatly appreciate it because I don't know, it's, that's just how God's really leading me to proclaim his word through like really mellow Christian songs and I feel it. I really do feel it that that little nudge, that little nudge to just go and do it and I'm with you if you just go. <laughs> So that's what I'm saying, correlation to you, like I don't know who's watching this, but like in correlation to you, if God is giving that little nudge, that little nudge, just go, just do it, be bold, be confident, and just tell God, okay, I'm doing it, let's go, let's do it, <laughs> and all my insecurities will not bother me, I'm not going to be fearful of anything that's to come. And because I have you by my side, I have Blessed Mother Mary by my side, I have St. Joe by my side, I have the Holy Spirit, I have God watching over me. So, let's go! Like, yeah, and so really just have that mentality in your heart, really trusting God and having that confidence in God deep within your heart so that you'll be able to spread that to people around you because it's really reflecting it deep from your heart. And so, essentially, you're being an example of Christ that way. I always want to say in all my videos, don't be afraid to be true words of Christ. Bye!
Jesus, turn